Uh, we're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, we're here to test this material right here. It uh, actually looks like a, kind of green leaves that we've soaked overnight in uh, about 18 gallons of water. This is half of it. And the other half is over here. And uh, we tried, tried to follow the instructions that were given to us by uh, Bruce Batchelder with Ionic Incorporated from Watertown, Massachusetts. The press we're going to use today. This is just our uh, bench top model. It's a four inch diameter screw. Uh, on the left is the hopper uh, for pour the material in. Right through the middle here is a wedge wire screen, about a 10,000 gap wedge wire screen. We've got a cone. Here at the end, adjustable with that spring to put back pressure on the materials that's coming through. And the uh, press cake will drop down into this tray right here. Uh, this is powered by a uh, one horsepower drive. And we've got a reversing switch on this one uh, because it is kind of a test unit. In case something gets jammed, we can back it up. Uh, before we run the test, I'll just walk around the shop a little bit and try to give you an idea of some of the different equipment uh, and the larger presses we make. This is about a 30-year-old press. It was originally built by Vincent Corporation that we got back in on a trade-in and uh, just sitting out in our sandblasting area. We're thinking about fixing it up to use as a demonstrator, loaner, that type of thing. They're about a 25-year-old press originally built by Vincent that we got back in. And we kind of cleaned it up a little bit and we use it to do uh, trials and for rental and so forth. This one's happened to be uh, getting ready to go to a paper mill in the state of Washington to uh, dewater primary sludge. This is a I-beam bed frame. It's made of carbon steel and painted with epoxy paint. Uh, this is going to be a 16-inch uh, press, uh, I think, for Archer Daniels Midland. I'm going to do a soybean pitch as it goes down the right, and then the cone would ride on this big section of shaft right here. This is the cone that goes with that shaft. Uh, on this style, a VP press, a large press, the cone is hollow. We'll put screening over the face of that cone and get that last little bit of juice uh, at the final pinch point. P12 presses that are being built for a paper mill in South Korea. On the left is the hopper section. Two presses. This uh, is a wedge wire screen. You can see him putting the reinforcement on here. You can see this gentleman is working on the cone uh, facing. It's probably three eighths per. Put not put on there for strength, and then over that would probably be more uh, uh, eighth inch perforations, uh, smaller hole. Material here. I'm uh, getting ready to load some in the hopper. Uh, you can see right away we've got a lot of uh, dewatering going on across the length of the screw here. Should be starting to develop a plug down on the end. You see, most of the free water comes off pretty quick at the beginning of the press. Uh, you can see what happens as the screw's going by. Uh, get a burst of water out through the screen. Uh, there is some solids coming through. You can see them on this lower support bar. We don't have anything yet at the cone. My guess is there's a big uh, jam up right there at this point. Doesn't seem to be any bridging going on in the hopper. It's sucking in pretty quick. You notice the feed is much slower now. Make sure it's feeding, would you? Look at that. Uh, you can see now that we've got some fresh cake 
discharging around the cone. Yeah, you can. Yeah, keep filling it. Uh, you can see the press cake is continuing to uh, discharge out around the cone. Uh, still getting dewatering along the screen. You see, there's quite a bit of solids coming out with the press liquor. Uh, so far, we've got uh, about three gallons of uh, press liquor in the one bucket, and we've just switched over to another bucket. How slow this screw is turning now that we get this double reduction on here. It's feeding quite slow, but it is continuing to feed. We've been dewatering along the screen. Uh, press cake coming out. We're going to grab a sample of that. You can see we got dewatering going on here. The hop is just about empty, so we're going to throw in some more material. see that just about all the moisture is out of it by the time we get down to this point in the press. And it's, the press cake that's coming out is extremely dry. Uh, if we were to actually build a press for this, it could run a little bit faster, add more capacity. We'd probably open up the press uh, by cutting back on the resistor case and the flights down in this section. And what you'd see is more dewatering all the way across the length of the press rather than it. Uh, all the dewatering in this section and then just trying to force this kind of incompressible material through the last portion. That's the last of the first tub. We're getting another sample here of the press cake and we're going to do a moisture test on it. We did that one tub, this is just about all we have left, so it, it really pulverizes it and compresses it. The, the, the sheer volume is uh, greatly reduced. Left of that whole tub of material. 